There are so many animals around us. How can we study them all? We really need to find some way to sort them so that we can study them properly. Scientists have thought of a simple way of dividing them into five groups. One group is the sucklers. These animals give birth directly to babies. They do not lay eggs. The baby animal drinks milk from the mother animal. These animals have fur or hair on their bodies. They also have ears that we can see. These animals have four legs. The flyers are another group. This group has all the birds. They have two wings and two legs. Their body is covered with feathers. We cannot see their ears. They lay eggs. Some birds can fly really high. Some can't fly too high. Some birds can't fly at all. But if they have feathers and wings, they are still part of the flyers group. The third group is the swimmers. This group has all the fish. They live in water. They have fins. They have scales on their body. We cannot see their ears. They lay eggs. There are many more animals in the water than there are on land. The fourth group is the crawlers. As you can guess, this group has the snakes, lizards, chameleons and other animals that crawl. They have scales on their body. We cannot see their ears. They lay eggs. The fifth group is the insects. Insects have six legs and wings. Mosquitoes, flies, cockroaches are all insects.